hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i will be discussing you a uh, with a uh, important topic which is a rod a bar and a shaft and a beam what makes this a structural component differ in them what is one thing that makes differ in them so without being let let's start our video the basic concept we need to learn first is stress what is stress stress is nothing but internal resisting force per unit cross sectional area so i will explain you explain you this concept with a beautiful example so let's take a rod a rod of of length l of length l right rod of length l rod of length l okay friends and its cross sectional area is given as a let's take this as cross sectional area let's let's assume this uh, there is a tensile load of p and here also a tensile load tensile load of p acting along the cross sectional its cross sectional is nothing but a rectangular or a square you you can take right friends are you guys and okay now the stress is nothing but for this tensile load p there will be a resisting internal resistance offered by this component of the b of a bar that will be of equal magnitude p for this for this uh, force there will be a resisting force that will be p of equal magnitude let's say it's a p 10 newtons then it will also be a 10 newton force it will also be it's a 20 newtons then it will also have 20 unit 20, 20 newton force right friends are you understand let's okay this is the cross sectional area of a now stress is defined like this like uh, there are two types of stress the usually there will be a normal stress and the shear stress this is this is a kind of normal stress friends normal stress is nothing but the stress which acts along along the axis along the uh, perpendicular to the cross section if the load is perpendicular to the cross section cross section of the structural member then that load is known as normal stress the stresses which are induced are known as normal stress and the, now coming to shear stresses shear stresses shear stresses are nothing but which acts along the body like which acts along the body like this shearing shearing nature will come are you understanding this i hope this makes clear right friends which is along the body which is along the structural member that is given normal stress is given a p is equal to no no, no normal stress sigma n sigma n is given a bit p force per unit area right now here area is taken as rectangular or anything you can take you can calculate sigma n that's nothing but a normal stress right now coming to our main topic what is what make the structural member bar rod and beam and shaft what is the main difference between them what is the main difference differences let's say first we are talking about a rod let's let's we will talk about a rod rod is something a structural member which takes uh, uh, axial uh, uh, tensile loads friends then the then the then the stresses induced are if the if this is a t tensile load then the, then then they then there will be a normal stress normal stress is nothing but p by a this is known as rod rod is something a structural member which takes loads if this is a vertical then it is also column 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 will be in, we will call this as a column and if you take another structural member like this a beam now uh, no no first we talk about bar bar is something it it takes a load of tensile or compressive tensile or compressive tensile or compressive if uh, if it takes a compressive it it will act as a column it will act as a column like it will uh, buckle Buc buckling nature will come into picture buckling nature buckling of buckling nature buckling of the column what we can if if the loads are of compressive nature then the 
the rod or b the the rod or bar will buckle like this like friends it will buckling buckling will take place then the stresses normal stresses induced are this in this is p by a are you guys understand hope when the axial compressive load acts on the beam uh, when it is taken as a column the critical load for it is given by pre critical is given as pi square e i by l square um, there are the different condition like uh, when one end is fixed when other end is free they, there were, there are more four conditions which will be occurring when column is given with its uh, with its load uh, i hope this is clear next moving to point beam what is a beam beam is nothing but a, it's a structural member which takes axial transfer loads and it is subject to a moments moment like uh, when both ends when both end of the beam are subjected to a moment a structural member of the be, uh, structural member is subjected to a transfer load like these are the transfer load and as well as the moments are uh, are it is subjected to it then the then the stresses induced are nothing but the bending stresses bending stresses are given by m by i into y i is nothing but the moment of inertia for this cross sectional area and moment uh, we, we will call y is the perpendicular distance from the uh, centroid of the centroid uh, of the beam or the cross sectional what we take and coming to shaft shaft is um, shaft is opposite of this shaft is subjected to a torque torque uh, torque means like we are twisting twisting nature will come into this uh, come into picture when we are uh, when we are talking about shaft shaft uh, shafts are generally subjected to torque Tar uh, shaft is nothing but uh, uh, it is used for power transmissions in automobiles and uh, various industries purpose shaft uh, when shaft is subjected to torque it is then it will induce stresses like shear stresses shear stresses is given by t by j into r j is uh, nothing but polar moment of inertia like uh, there will be a different cross section like if i take for this if i consider this pen as a shaft the cross section is nothing but here is a circular cross section right i hope this point is clear what is the main difference between bar rod and rod and the beam and a shaft thank you friends okay thank you